Have you ever wondered what UV light and sunlight does to cause skin cancer? Well, what the UV light, the energy in the UV light causes damage to the DNA. What we scientists have found is that two thymines, remember adenine and thymine are base pairs, guanine and cytosine are base pairs that always go together. What UV light will do will cause two thymines that are next to each other to be bonded to each other instead of their adenines. Called, and this is called a thymine dimer. Now fortunately, your cells do have mechanisms that can catch most of these mistakes and fix them. They can separate the two thymines while they will bond correctly with their adenines. However, if you have lots and lots of those thymine dimers form when you're out in the sun, if, from the UV light in the sun, sometimes the cell can't fix all of them. Either if there are way too many, it can't fix most of them and the cell will die immediately. However, sometimes it can fix some of them, but it misses a few. And when it misses these few, this causes a mutation or a change in the DNA. And when you have a change or a mutation in your DNA, it can interfere with how that cell divides and travels through the cell cycle. If you remember the cell, um, the normal cell cycle, you have the gap one, where the cell is just growing and dividing normally, or growing rather, normally, and making um, proteins. It will, at a certain checkpoint, it, the cell will decide that it needs to duplicate its DNA in the synthesis phase. This is where problems will occur if it's had damage due to UV light in your skin. It will, you will have problems with the duplication of the DNA and also with the production of proteins. After that, it enters the GAP2 phase where more cell uh, organelles and more proteins are made, and at that point, it will enter mitosis for uh, nuclear division and then cytokinesis. When there is a problem with your DNA, this cell cycle is disrupted, and you can get uncontrolled cell growth, which is cancer. And this, again, can in skin cells can be caused by the damage to your DNA by these thymine dimers from UV light. We have talked about what UV light does to your DNA that can lead to skin cancer. Now we're going to look and see how sunscreens can protect you from the UV light in the sun. These little white beads are um, designed with pigments in them that change colors when they're exposed to UV light. And you can see now when you're inside and out of the sun, they're pretty much white. I have some that I've got in a baggie with absolutely no sunscreen in the baggie. And then I have some that I have in a baggie with 50 SPF sunscreen in it. You can see the uh, beads floating around in the liquid. Uh, I can't just spray them on the beads because it tends to fall off. So I have them sitting in this little sea of sunscreen. I'm going to take them outside in the sun and we're going to see how well this sunscreen protects these UV light beads from the UV light in the sun and compare it to what happens to the beads that don't have that sunscreen protection. Okay. Now I'm going to put the two baggies of beads on these plates at the same, at virtually the same time, and we'll compare and see how well the sunscreen protects the U, from the UV light. Here is the. Um, you can see almost immediately. The UV light causes the unprotected beads to turn their bright colors. And you can see, we'll give it a few seconds and compare to see how long it takes. Oh no! Okay, again, you can see the UV light, unpro the unprotected beads are already very bright colors from the UV light. Whereas the ones that are in the sunscreen are uh, Still, they're very faintly colored, but you can see the sunscreen does protect you from UV light, whether it's your skin or these beads. Make 
sure you wear your sunscreen when you go out in the sun.